All right, and we're back. So, uh, final final video for the Doodle Notes. You'll be excited. I had to actually charge my computer for making all these videos. I had to charge myself. It's coffee. If you didn't know, that's fun fun joke this morning. But anyway, um, we just talked about how the Mexican session resulted from the Mexican American War, eighteen forty six to eighteen forty eight. So. Uh, just by happenstance. And there's no way that anyone could have known this at the time, but it's kind of crazy. It was only like six weeks or something uh, after the, it might've even been less, after the um, treaty was signed that ended the Mexican-American War, that the first gold strike in uh, California at Sutter's Mill happened and the gold rush sparked off. So it's kind of crazy just how things work out that way. Um, so California filled up real fast. Remember, if you can help it, you don't want to be marching across America to California. Sierra Nevada mountains are right here and they're really kind of tough. So, and plus like, you know, deserts. Um, but anyway, you want to sail around all the way around and end up sailing into California to be a gold rush guy, um, a prospector looking for gold. <laughs> I love gold. So anyway, that's your reward for watching all of these videos. You get true comedy. Uh, but anyway, um, that is what populates California so quickly so that it can become a state in 1850, which is going to cause some issues, which we'll talk about uh, when we talk about our trigger events. Um, and so, yeah, that's California crazy growth. Um, you have Oregon up here, the Oregon country which will also become a state pretty early. This is the Oregon Trail, so make sure you put it on your map. And that is all farming and fur trade. Um, the fur trade is pretty interesting uh, industry in American history. As we know, we talked about all the way back in colonial times. So why the heck do we now have fur traders all the way out here? Well, the answer to that is that as uh, fur traders become more and more like they're as they're selling more and more and they want to make bigger and bigger profits, they hunt out the animals. They don't really care about replacement rates and populations. Um, and this has all sorts of environmental effects. It's really interesting to learn about because, you know, if you kill the beavers, erosion runs wild. If erosion runs wild, it's bad. Hey, I can't get into it. But anyway, you have to go farther and farther west to get good furs because they're killing all the animals too quickly, essentially. So the Rocky Mountains, that's a terrible one. The Rocky Mountains are like right here, right? So... This is where the last fur traders end up because all the good fur trading to be had to the east is done. Um, and eventually that industry kind of crashes. The fashions change and people don't want furs in the same way or the same types of furs that they wanted before. And so there's a bunch of guys who are kind of out of the job, but they know these mountains and they know how to get here. And they're going to be some of the first guys west are going to be these former fur traders called mountain men. Um, and they're kind of the very first Americans out in the West, which is pretty interesting. Um, a big dispute we're going to have is whether there should be slavery in the West. Most people who actually live there uh, tend to say no because they don't want to compete with the labor. Again, it's not because they're nice abolitionists as much as it's because they don't want to compete with labor that doesn't get paid. They want to have free farms. They don't want to have plantations. The whole point of this Western land is so that every white man could move out here and start their own farm. So let's get down to the symbols. You have the houses for small family farms, dots of gold for California gold rush. Make sure you include that they did not like slavery. Okay. They're growing things like wheat and corn. Classic. Delightful. Okay. And then you got the fur trade up here. Those are kind of the highlights. And again, I'm really sorry. I'm a terrible photographer, so it's hard to see here. But this is the West, corn and wheat, gold, fur trade. This is about small family farms. This is about that. Okay, so you can write small family farms there. Um, I will probably make a uh, place for you to turn in pictures of your doodle notes tomorrow. So there's still going to be a check for Wednesday. Feel free to work together. Make sure you watch all these videos. Make sure you watch every video I post. I think that's pretty important, don't you? I got a lot of important things to say. Um, so, yeah, 
let me know if there's any questions. Um, feel free to email me. Obviously, this is, this is this, I shouldn't be doing this because I might use this in the future. I should future proof this video. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching the doodle notes key. Have a great day.